Hi guys, we're back with Behind the Scenes. <laughs> anyway, I'm working this dog on getting it to sit, because I told Crystal, I don't know how I'm going to get it to down, even though I've, I've had other Great Danes. I mean, I had two of them that I can recall on the videos that were, you know, that were awfully trained, which was that Tosca and Max, that black one. Max was probably the more trained. Anyway, so I somehow was able to get him to go down. This dog really doesn't even have a sit. So I've just managed to get him in that position, and I'm going to reward him. I'm, I'm going to keep rewarding that position, because I don't even think he's familiar with it, because we only ever see him standing up or laying down or running at top speed. <laughs> so if you can get him doing something that you want... And I do, I know I always say don't thump him, but I do a little, a little right there. get him doing it again so so what I'm gonna have to do and, and it'll take a little bit longer because what happens if you teach him to sit prior to making him go down you mess up your mechanics so now you have a dog that when you say down it goes like this instead of like this I think we can get it to do it though but it's just too um, it's too big of a task to get a two-year-old Great Dane, you know, that up until, you know, a couple months ago was intact and has no previous training, laying down. So what I need to do is see if I can get him sitting again. So I'm going to keep my hand on the collar to keep him there, though. Oh, look how big he looks next to me. <laughs> His face is right by my face. But I'm not going to tossle his head. I'm, I'm not going to, and again, I'm not going to have a correction right there. Well, I can try to start adding my pager. Now, but what I need to be able to control here, now I do need to move my box here right now, so I'm, always when you're trying to control the body from this, you, you do want to be going directly to, I'm going to try to pull the dog to the side. If he starts to go forward, I'm going to pull him back. i got to admit, I'm very impressed. I don't think I could get him to sit yesterday. Or <laughs> we didn't, maybe didn't train him. Falconer. Heel. Alright, so I'm going to do the same thing I do with the down. I'm going to get my leash behind me here. I'm going to have my treats. I'm going to pull. Oh, it's a miracle. Because Kelly Character doesn't know how to teach a dog to sit. <laughs> if you could see Crystal's eyes, she's so impressed. Because ever since she worked here, I said, we don't know how to teach him how to sit. Now she sees I really do. <laughs> she always wondered about <laughs> Falcon. <laughs> Never made any sense to her. <laughs> are impressive when you get them done though you know and, and as far as you know if you're a trainer sit you know to be able to demonstrate I mean I see some of these guys and I'm you know I'm not being critical I'm not being critical you know but that are sort of these sort of you know what I sort of call kind of militant dog trainers, you know, that maybe their their pitch line, and there's a lot of these guys out there, they train dogs in the military, you know, or the one girl that called me the other day, oh, the guy's an ex-cop, you know, he was going to train the dog, an ex-canine or something. <laughs> uh, you know, but then their demo video is with some, you know, multi-poo or something. It just doesn't, <laughs> it just doesn't end up. All right, let's go back. I gotta show you something that's supposed to be hilarious. Falconer. So I'm doing a little bit with my healing, but mostly I'm thinking about my sit. Falconer. Falconer. I can turn it. You see, he makes a little. Alright, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do my pressure on my leash. I'm gonna add a little bit with the pager. Sit.
We definitely got to take him and get him white crystal because he only weighed 100 pounds when. <laughs> I think he's a little bigger than that now. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're definitely making progress. Bye, guys.